Oh, hello everyone. It's Susie uh, Crew from Esoteric Trading Solutions again. Hope you're all well. I hope you're living the life that you want to. Um, always be happy because time seriously goes short. Be kind to your parents, um, your family, and your friends, and um, hopefully uh, you'll have a really happy life because life does go very quick. Anyway, just wanted to talk about crypto markets. Um, this new vice rating report that came out of cryptocurrencies, uh, where they award cryptocurrencies A's through to D, um, I, I really would like to know the the criteria to how they get their their rating score because. Honestly, um, I'm very skeptical of things that come out in terms of crypto land. Um, they actually rate IOTA higher than than, um, than Ripple, and I find that just an absolute joke. Um, and at the same time, there's a story here called Analysts IOTA Sharply Overvalue Due to Overwhelming Evidence of Serious Flaws, So, um, which I'm going to go through as well. So... Um, this WISE ratings report, which was heavily anticipated, uh, basically rated um, NEO and as Stella as um, A minuses. I do like both of those coins uh, from my own perspective in terms of investment. I'm not, not that I'm advocating you guys do it. You've really got to do your own due diligence and look at your own risk potential. But I do think in my personal, my own account, I think Ripple's a better story. So I would seriously doubt this rating criteria of this report, I have to say I'm very skeptical because I cannot for the life of me see how they could, um, honestly, how they could give a, a, a rating system to IOTA which is higher than, than Ripple, particularly when IOTA's got so many problems wrong with it. It's just, it's beyond me. So I'm really, really skeptical about this report and I think anything you do in crypto land, anything you read, you have to be you have to be skeptical. You've got to know the technology, and I certainly know both technologies. I've used both technologies at different times, Ripple and IOTA, and I've never ever had a problem with Ripple ever. So, and I've had lots of problem with IOTA, and I've used it probably for the last year or so, and I've lost money using IOTA constantly in coins. Um, and IOTA, you know, get out of that. You say, you say, you know. The coin developers say, oh, the clients don't know how to use it because you have to create your own private keys and you have to send it to a deposit address with the with one deposit address and never use it again. But honestly, the technology is crap and um, that's my take on it. And if we go into this, um, there's another report in the same report as this one and it talks about IOTA being sharply overvalued um, due to... Let's have a look. Due to overwhelming problems with the software. So um, let me get out of that. Sorry about that. It's come up with something. So if we have a look at this report, um, it actually talks about IOTA. An analyst, which is a professional analyst, analyst in the professional market is coming into this market this year. And what I mean by the professionals is people like me that used to be managing billions of dollars uh, worth of clients' money, whether it be funds management, uh, management investment portfolios, whether it be banks' money, whether it be hedge funds, whether it be for superannuation money, whether it be for central funding authorities, but they're all coming in this year. And this is a, a professional analyst who believes that IOTA is sharply overvalued due to overwhelming evidence of serious flaws. And I agree with the guy. Um, this analyst who is from um, a, a fund, a fund manager, basically found that IOTA is trading well above any real value it might have. The project, uh, it, it basically said that um, the project has no real product market fit and the network is centralised and unstable. Additionally, the approach taken by the IOTA team uh, like knowingly allow critical vulnerabilities to exist in the software present many reasons to be highly concerned. And I agree with this guy because every time you go back to the team and try to get anything out of them, they just, you know, they don't even come back to you or they just basically say to you, you're trying to fund the technology. And honestly, I just think, you know, I, do, I'm a, I agree with this guy totally. There's been a lot of stuff come out recently. And look, as I said, I've used IOTA's technology for about the last year and a half and every time I've sent anything or done anything and I know the technology pretty well, it doesn't work. 
and I've never had a problem with Ripple, ever. So try it. Try it, guys. I'm not making a lie out of this. Try it yourself and see what you think. Okay, so this guy says, the IDA network, um, cryptocurrency, no just justification for where the price is. Now, don't forget, IOTA is one IOTA equals a million um, sorry, one myota equals a million iota. When you look at Coinbase or, or Capital Markets, it's actually got the issuance being myota and it's actually got the share price being iota. So the valuation is even more expensive or higher than what it's actually showing on Coin Capital Markets. It should be showing a million iota more by by a million more times the issue price because my it's being shown in my iota. So as I said, uh, a million iota equals one uh, my iota, and it's not even being shown properly on Coin Capital Markets. And the issuers of the coin know that, so the valuation is even higher than what the market thinks the valuation is. But anyway, so basically this fellow came out from a um, multi coin capital a Texas organization which is a professional organization that has analysts just like equity analysts and bond analysts and special credit uh, market analysts, <coughs> excuse me, uh, business analysts or structured finance analysts and they really know their stuff. They run risk models, statistical models, relative value models, you name it. And this guy came out with a 12 page report telling the truth and basically said um, it's a crap cryptocurrency and has no justification for its current price levels and that's exactly what I'm saying. They found a myriad of issues with IOTA and its technology and their final conclusion is given the current state of the IOTA network, the substantial technical risk and the overwhelming evidence of serial flaws in the protocol, we believe that IOTA is sharply overvalued at current prices and obviously when they mean that they mean it is major major sell and I agree with them. Uh, the report lists many problems with the project beginning with the fact that it has not found a real product market fit. I agree with that because really you know they're trying to do micro you know transactions but the system doesn't work for micro millions and millions of transactions it can't even do one or two uh, per person. The use case section of IOTA documentation is sparse and unspecific. I agree. Uh, you know what they actually do is is currently nothing in terms of transactions. The hardware changes um, it have to be implemented with the IOT as a device for it to work. It's going to cost them even more money. Um, there's no backup. It's reliant on someone you know pushing the transactions through because it can't work on its own. Um, the network is not decentralized, it's centralized because they need a coordinator to, to protect them against tax and to process transactions. The network is, me, is very, very unusual many times and also experience periods of downtime. And honestly, what else do I need to say here? The team has had to shut off the coordinator due to bugs or attacks or rendering the network unusable. Um, most issues found by the analysts are critical software vulnerabilities in IOTA's hash function and the team's response to it. IOTA claimed that the vulnerabilities were not known and intentional as a copy protection mechanism to discourage scam copies. They claim the coordinate protected uh, against the exploits, but this is impossible to verify as closed source reports explain. And the thing is, if you're a technical person and you know your stuff in terms of IT technical stuff, <clears throat> any an analyst with a way to go that knows this stuff will look at this technology and go, it is garbage. So they found serious flaws with this, with the technology, and basically there's just so much vulnerability and half the time it doesn't even work. So I agree with this. I've said this all along. IOTA is a scam, and as the professional players come into this market, you'll find that more the case. More of these type of reports will come out because they will test the technology at different times of the day, night and weekends just like I have and the technology doesn't work properly. Alright guys, I hope you're all well and I hope you get some uh, benefit out of this and uh, you know we'll talk another day. Cheers.